Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Thursday, another warm day it looks like that we're going to be having. Welcome to our very first live video broadcast that we're having. Um, if anybody happens to miss us or you want to go back and look at it later, um, we are going to be broadcasting at 2.30 this afternoon. And also, right on the same site that you're watching this, it'll be saved on there so you can go back and you can watch it. Um, during these broadcasts, they're only supposed to be short little broadcasts. We're only going to go about 5 to 15 minutes. That's about the extent of it. Um, grab that coffee, grab a pop, whatever you can do. Hopefully you early birds are all nice and awake here. I remember I woke up this morning, took me extra time today because I had to get my hair styled. Um, yeah, I can't do anything about that, so sorry about that. But enjoy the broadcast, and uh, I hope that everything will be what you're hoping that you'll be able to find for your uh, creating a, a podcast for or a, a blog for in your classroom. So that would be fantastic. You are welcome to send me an email at any time during the uh, the video that we're doing here. And if you look down on the bottom, you'll see right there, I have my website or my email address right down there. And you're welcome to get hold of me if you'd like to through there. You can ask me a question and I'll respond to it. If you just want to give me a hard time, go ahead and send that off too. It doesn't matter to me at all. So uh, welcome and I especially welcome those of you from the AEA or from the other schools who've inquired about if this is going to work or not and maybe you'd like to try it. So it's nice to have some other visitors here today day two. This is a live broadcast. We're never quite sure what's going to happen during a live broadcast. You're kind of putting yourself right out there. Uh, you may very well be watching a train wreck ready to happen here. So we're going to hope that doesn't occur, but let's find out. Hey, let's see what we're going to do. Today, we're going to be talking about a program that is possibly the easiest one that I have ever seen for creating a blog. And it's called Padlet. And uh, a blog is just a place you can go on the internet or, or through your cell phone if you have that, where you can share ideas and the ideas get stacked on top of each other. If you're working on writing in your classroom and reading, a blog is fantastic for helping to reinforce those skills because kids are having to share through the written word with those. So they're a phenomenal opportunity for, to use, for you to use in your classroom. The reason I'm talking about Padlet is compared to some of the other blogs like WordPress, Blogger, Tumblr, Twitter, Zanga, Weebly, any of those other uh, blogging tools that you could have, uh, this seems to me to be the easiest one of all and I think you may be surprised at how easy it is also. So uh, feel free, send me those emails during the, the broadcast and I'll try to answer those. Um, you'll see me looking back and forth between the different devices that I have on my desk so I apologize for not always looking at you right there. I do want to also let you know there's about a 30 second to a one minute delay between what I'm doing here and what actually is coming across to you. So if I don't get to you right away, that's the reason why. So I tell you what, let's learn how to make a super easy blog. So let me switch over here and we will, I'll bring up my screen for you so you can see what we've got there. The first thing you're going to want to do is to be able to do this is to you first you got to get to the site so all you have to do is go to padlet.com and when you first get to padlet.com uh, if you have never created an account here before you have to either sign up for the account or if you've had one before you just simply log in so I'm going to click on the login and I type in my email that I have now I visited here once or twice before so I kind of am able to get in there but you'll notice when you actually get into your site, it looks very similar to when you just visit the site, with the exception of right up here. And you have several choices you can choose from. You could build a new wall. You could talk about, you know, go in and check your account settings. You can have your walls here. Now, this is something I think is fantastic with Padlet. You could create 10 different blogs, and all you have to do is click right here, and it'll bring up all of those blogs that you have. It's very quick and simple. I wait until you see how all that ends up working. And right here is how you can log out of your account. So let's create a new wall. They call it a wall because they used to be called Wall Wisher and, and then Wall Wisher changed it over to Padlet. So here we are. 
we're inside this and I want to get rid of that so I'm just going to click on the screen right there. You have some buttons right over here in your toolbar that you can you can use to be able to change settings inside your blog. Right here is your account information so you can go in there and change that if you want. The big one that you'll want is the one that says modify this wall. So when I click on there I get a really nice toolbar that pops up that lets me change what I'm going to do with my blog. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put in my title right here. So I'm going to just call this uh, something like you might, Mr. Roberts second period, something like that. Then I go in my description and that's where I can put in what this blog is going to be about. So I just come right up into here and I'm going to, we're studying the Civil War. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just ask the kids to answer a question for me. And let's go, how would you have felt being the parent of a child sent to fight in the Civil War? Hopefully I spelled everything right there. There you go. Uh, so that would be an open-ended question. Uh, this is a great way where you could do some formative assessments with your students because you, you can ask the questions, you can have the kids go in and respond, and it, it's a very non-threatening environment for them. So there's the question this blog is addressing, and it's for my second period class. If I would like, I could add a nice little graphic in the corner to represent myself if I would like right up here. So I could do that if I wanted to, but I'm just, or I can add my own. I'm not going to add any of those in there. Uh, so we've got that. Now, if the kids would be coming in here and they would type, I just double clicked on the screen. I would recommend just having your kids enter in their first name. Please don't put first and last names in here. Um, we, we don't want that to be because we want to protect our kids with this. And that George, may just type something very intellectual in here and you'll have that and he can drag it around. Now this is just called a wall and it's a blogging wall and you can have this format if you want to but I would like to have it have a little bit more of the traditional look of a blog so I go back to my settings and I change my layout and I'm just going to go to stream and notice it's over here now so when I click back on the screen again to enter another one Look at how it just pops it right above George. So this student could enter in uh, her information. So we'll just say her name is Susan, and she's she writes things too. It's amazing how similar hers are to George there. So she has her information on there, and so on and so on and so on. See how this can be a fantastic opportunity for your students to communicate? And it's, I mean, it's so simple. Wait until you see how the kids access it. It's just amazing. Now, I go back to my wall again. And it is really important that you address the privacy issues with your account. So I click on privacy and this is what I would recommend for all of you. Make it password protected and make it so that the students can write or the teachers can write or, or whoever you're having do this. So make sure they have that and enter in a pretty simple password. I'm just going to type in dog. That'll be their password. So now it's password protected, so just not everybody can get on there, just the people that you're kind of letting know the password to access it. And the next super, super important one is your privacy control feature. You want to be able to moderate the posts. That means before anything can be seen on this blog, you, you have to approve it. The best part about this is you can approve it through an email that's sent off to you. And here's how you do can do that. I'm going to hit submit so my changes are there. When I set up my original account, I was able to uh, add my email address I would like to receive information at. And you're going to want to put in your school's address there. So every time someone posts, you receive notification of it. And you can click on that. You can click approve. And then everyone will be able to see it. Also, you can have, when you click on notifications, you can have an email sent daily of what is being added to the site. I, that's phenomenal. That's fantastic. Now here's the other part that I really like about Padlet.
that's the address feature. When I click address right here, I can pick what I want to call my blog. So it's automatically padlet.com forward slash wall forward slash, and let's call that Civil War Parents. Now notice, it is available, so I can pick that one. So for the students, you would just send them the address or, or put a link on your website or, or however you're going to relay that. Just put it down as padlet.com forward slash wall forward slash Civil War Parents. I'm going to pick that. And there we go. And if I end up not wanting my wall, I want to get rid of everything, I can just hit delete with that. Now, we've got this going, and you're going to probably want to go, uh, okay, so what do the kids see on their end? So that's pretty easy to take care of. Let's just go back to the home page, and I'm going to log out of my account. There we go. And I'm just going to go up to the address, forward slash wall, civil war parents. I hit enter. There you go. There's where the password goes in. So I type in, oops, I think I hit the wrong one, dog. Let me in. There's my blog. There's what's being put onto that site. So, and I can double click on here and I can go in as another name here and type in some information that would be pertaining to it and we're able to just continue to have our blog and have our communication back and forth between each other. You'll see here it does say awaiting approval and awaiting approval is uh, is a pretty good deal that we'd have. Um, that was what I was talking to you about. As soon as it's approved that goes away and then everybody's posts are, are there. So that I'm having a little bit of trouble with my email, so I apologize to all of you. Um, things are just kind of of <laughs> kind of going around here on me, so sorry about that. I think some of them just started to come in. So that, you guys, is how you can create a really super easy blog. And it, there's nothing to it. It is very, very simple to be able to do. And you can set up as many as you want. It's a free service. Uh, people really, really uh, that have used it have gone, uh, this is just the most easy thing there ever is. So just keep on uh, try, giving it a try. It never hurts to experiment with technology. and You never know what's going to catch on. Like I said, this afternoon we have another broadcast at 2.30. Let people know that it's at 2.30. I did send an email out this morning, and we can get more people to come in. Send me your ideas, any ideas that you send to me that you think would provide good little short technology lessons. I'll be happy to broadcast and put out there, and, and then you can communicate through me, with me through emails also. Um, thank you very much for your time. Uh, you can check back with us later if you want to, or you can tell people to come in and watch it. That'd be fantastic. Enjoy your day. Stay cool, everybody. And I will see you next Thursday morning. At least that's when I'm planning on my next one. Or I'll see you in the classrooms. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks for attending.